President Volodymyr Zelensky personally arrived at the German airbase Ramstein, where the 24th meeting of the contact group on the provision of military assistance to Ukraine, which includes more than 50 countries, is taking place. It was the first time that Zelensky joined the gathering of defense ministers at the US airbase Ramstein in Western Germany. In his opening remarks, the Ukrainian leader spoke about the successes of the operation in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, where the Ukrainian armed forces took control of 1,300 square kilometers of territory and the Russian army lost about 6,000 people killed and wounded. According to the president, this prevented the occupiers from advancing on the Sumy region and slowed down their advance in Donetsk. He noted that the operation in Kursk showed the true interests of Putin, who justified the invasion of Ukraine by protecting his people, but was unable or unwilling to do so on Russian territory. Zelensky said that Russian troops abandoned a significant portion of the territory upon seeing the approach of Ukrainian forces, while other areas were taken under control by Ukrainian forces during combat. And we have already started operating F-16s. Thank you for this support, Secretary Austin. And to you, partners, they strike down missiles and drones. They are very efficient, but they are few. You know that. We need a much stronger fleet of F-16s, and I have proposals that I will say when the press leaves, he said. Zelensky also called on partners to hand over the promised air defense systems as soon as possible and to change their minds about long-range missile strikes deep into Russia against its airfields and military bases. Head of the Pentagon, Lloyd Austin, announced at the beginning of the 24th meeting of the Ramstein Group on support for Ukraine that the United States will provide Ukraine with another package of military aid worth $250 million to continue countering Russian aggression. The head of the American Defense Department did not say what types of weapons would be transferred. He only said that the next batch would meet the urgent needs of the Ukrainian armed forces and would be delivered to the battlefield as soon as possible. The Ramstein meeting is taking place just as Russia is yet again ramping up aerial strikes against Ukrainian cities, underscoring Ukraine's need for faster air defense deliveries. Moscow's troops also continue their pressure in Donetsk Oblast, namely toward a key logistics hub of Pokrovsk. A black plume of smoke billowed over Rosemary Boulevard in East Akron as Koki Laboratories went up in flames. Akron Fire Department District Chief Sergi Lash said that, according to Koki Laboratories, methanol, propane and xylene are inside the facility. Due to the nature of the chemicals present and the extent of the flames, fire companies used a defensive mode for approaching the fire, Akron Fire Department said. The city began evacuating homes and businesses within a half-mile radius of the site, when a small explosion was heard from the building, according to the update. Mayor Shamus Malik said at that press conference that the overriding concern was the potential for explosions. There is not an air quality chemical concern at this point. For folks outside of that evacuation zone, Malik said, we are continually monitoring of the situation. And if that changes and guidance needs to change, we will communicate that as soon as possible. The city set up temporary centers for residents who were forced out of their homes at Firestone Park Community Center, Joy Park Community Center and Mason Park Community Center. After this Akron Fire Department said that the fire took under control. Fire crews remain on scene due to the nature and extent of the incident. One firefighter was transported to an area hospital due to minor injuries, officials said. The evacuation ban, which was put in place for a half-mile radius of the fire was lifted the Environmental Protection Agency was requested to check the air quality, with results being within normal limits.